There is a link in the show more of this video so you can download this program and take a look at it. If you're going to get into electronics in the future, it would be a good idea to learn something about programming. And this script file here is really quite similar to parts of other languages like C and Java and Fortran and BASIC. They're similar. Uh, the rules are, you know, slightly different because of uh, the difference in the language, but the general idea is the same. Now I've got this program and we're going to go through it, but I'm going to show you two demos. One, I'm going to let it run with the internet and what it's going to do is it's going to open up a Google window and then do a search in Google to a YouTube site and then click on the uh, browse video button on that site. The second video is I'm going to turn off the internet and I've got to handle that part in the program also and we'll see what happens. I've got the program loaded and all I have to do is click on the green arrow here to run it. Let's see what it does. Okay, it's maximized the window. Typed in Speaker Freak 95, clicked on it. and also clicked on browse videos and the program stopped running the program still loaded but this time I have turned off my internet connection let's see what happens now Okay, it tried three times and then stopped. The program starts running right here, right at the very top line. And this is a variable, and I called it loop counter. And I have assigned a 1 into loop counter. The next line is a label, and I called it wait for Google windows and what that does is that has marked this part or place I should say in the program in other words we can go to this spot later on from someplace else in the program the next line is executable and it is run now go to C drive go to program files Internet Explorer and run this executable code here which is Internet Explorer and then I wait three seconds in other words I give it a little bit of time to open up and now I am testing it now I've got Google as my default for my Internet Explorer page so that's what I'm testing here. I'm looking for Google and of course there's other stuff behind it like Internet Explorer but I don't really care so I've got an asterisk here that's a wild card so if the first part of that says Google I don't care about the rest of it and if it is well then I want to maximize the window make it as big as possible and that's what these lines do and for some reason I have to use two I think I probably have a setting in Windows I need to change but I'm not gonna look for it now so I just do it twice and it works so now the window is maximum now we go to start which is another label 
and we follow that line down here skipping over the else part of that program and we start running it because we've got a Google page up and now I position the mouse over the Google search text input to wake it up to make sure that I can enter something into it. I wait and then click on it and then I send to that it's like typing it in speaker freak 95 carriage return okay now I'm gonna wait for the page to open up then I'm gonna click on speaker freak 95 on that page because we just did a search here okay so this positions the mouse over speaker freak 95 and then I click on it after three seconds okay now we're gonna wait for the YouTube page to open up and then after six seconds here I'm gonna click on the browser so that this positions the mouse over the browser video the button for it and then I click on it and the program is done now we have another scenario here that's when I turned off my internet and this is what happens it goes through all this again it starts right at the very beginning and it opens up Internet Explorer but we do not get Google because I don't have any internet so instead of going down this way we go down to the else and start running it here and on that page the first part of it is this again there's a lot more to it as you saw but I don't care uh, the first part of it's enough then I close it again this is another Windows command for some reason I have to use two here should really be one but again I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to find that one setting in Windows it closes it okay falls through and now I've got this counter on the loop remember I had put a one into it up here so it is one right here one equals three nope not true so we just fall out of it come down here and here loop counter equals loop counter plus one so I just put a two in here I added one to what was in there this was one one plus one is two now we go to wait for Google's Windows and we do it again up here open up the windows it's not Google come down here close it come down here two is not three so that's not true so we come down here we got a two here two plus one is three now it is three but we go to wait for Google's window back up here again go through this come down here it is not Google so we come down here go through the else close the window come down here now three equals three so that's true so now we go to another label in demo come down here and the program stops running thanks for watching